the Holocaust took place within the broader spectrum of World War II. Hitler's desire for a Jew-free Europe was just one of his ambitions. Another key aspect of his Nazi ideology was the conquest of territory for the master race to develop. On September 1st, 1939, Hitler invades Poland and World War II officially starts. Great Britain and France declared war two days after, but the following months would be called the Phony War because the Allies never set foot on Poland. Poland fell, and on September 17th, the Soviet Union invaded the other part of Poland, as it had been agreed in the Soviet-German Treaty. As the war developed, more nations began to fall under Nazi rule, and a solution for the Jewish question began to be pressured. Hitler's conquest of territory came with consequences, which was the accumulation of vast Jewish populations. Prior to 1942, Hitler's initial idea was to resettle the Jews elsewhere. There were talks about Madagascar, but when this became obviously too complex, Eastern Soviet Union became a prime target. While a viable solution was established, Jews became enclosed in ghettos. These were excluded sectors within cities where Jews were crammed and lived in appalling conditions. Many died of pure disease and starvation. Ghettos were surrounded by brick walls and barbed wires, and Jews were forced to live like rats. A popular historian view of the Nazi final solution is that it was a rather complex process driven by a mixture of planning and improvisation. Massive extermination commenced with the invasion of the Soviet Union on June 22, 1941. The invasion included Einstagruppen, which were special SS units tasked with the elimination of Soviet commissars, Jews in the state and party apparatus, or other threaten threatening agencies. There is no direct order from Hitler regarding any stage of mass extermination, but rather general verbal remarks and blurry orders. At the end of the day, generals decided how to solve the questions more efficiently. Hundreds and thousands of Jews, first men, later women and children as well, were assembled, taken to forests or other locations and shot to death. However, this method was still not good enough. This killing method was too personal, and soldiers were affected by it. Many drowned in alcoholism. Furthermore, it was not getting rid of the desired quantities of Jews. It is said that Himmler himself visited one of these shooting pits, and he was splattered with a little blood. This is when he realized this was not the most efficient method of killing. Gas exhaust, exhaustion vans were already being used in some camp locations, and this proved to be a more efficient method. After testing, it was decided that killing by gas, specifically Zyklon B, was the way to go. This prompted the deliberate construction of gas chambers, and therefore it allowed for the killing of hundreds in a time span of around 20 minutes. This also created a physical distance between the killers and the victims, thus solving the issue of close killing and the psychological effects brought by it. Killing centers, Chelmno, Belzec, Sobibor, Treblinka, Manjdek, and Auschwitz were established. Next episode, we will take a closer look at the established killing centers, their culture and their operation. These were called Reinhardt camps, because it was Commandant Reinhard who oversaw the mass murder in these camps.